So, continuing with our Shadow Catcher tutorial, this is basically the result we've got at the end of part 2 and this part is going to be about setting up Corona Shadow Catcher for the compositing. Whenever you need to have uh, the CG objects and your backplate separated for some sort of control in post-process. This is actually pretty easy, all you gotta do is to go to the Shadow Catcher, uh, set the mode for compositing and then obviously when we compose uh, we also need to render on black so we get to scene to the direct visibility override and we just disable the map input therefore the black color will be used once this is done we can just render ahead and what do we see is that we have just our cg objects rest is black and we got some sort of uh, shadowing propagated uh, to the black color and also to the alpha channel Okay, so this is basically all we need to do. Now we can just save this out as a EXR file. So let's call it car.exr. 16-bit uh, is enough. Make sure it has an alpha and save it out. I'm going to show you compositing in the Fusion. So what I prepared here is uh, the reference, reference image of our scene rendered together and also the backplate. As you can see there is a slight, very slight difference and that is caused by uh, the 3ds Max handling downscaling of the image different than Photoshop. Uh, the backplate here uh, was downscaled in Photoshop whereas this was uh, rendered out of 3ds Max so there's maybe some little little difference in image filtering. Now I'm going to load our uh, our car, delete this merge and uh, so this is our car. I'm going to merge it with our backplate. Uh, default for the merge node is over so that's that's what we have. Now if we compare it to our uh, reference we are getting nearly the same output and that is basically all you really need to do when you want to uh, set up shadow catcher for compositing. So uh, this was a quick part and in our last part I'm going to show you how to work with the illuminators. So see you then.